Hi guys, and it is uh, far, part 4 tutorial of the how to make a network topology and then configure it. So, in the, in the previous video, I've, um, I've already configured this router. Um, and uh, as I try to send packets from the PC into the router 0, it's successful. So we can just delete that. So it's successful, but when we send packets here into here, it's failed. So as you can see, it's failed. And if we send from router into PC1, it's failed. And why? Because we did not um, IP route it yet. So to IP route, all you have to do is to click into the um, router so click that and just um, enable config T so and all you need to do is um, IP route and then the IP address of so IP route. So all you need to do is uh, to IP route the network address. So the network address is 192.168.1.0. So you must type that here. So 192.168. Oh. 192.168.1.0 and then the subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and in the, the interface which is right here so the interface is se0 slash 1 slash 0 so just type that se0 slash 1 slash 0 because this in this serial port right here this one is only the passageway into this network so that's why we are um, using that port so enter and no shot oh do WR sorry just to save so if we try to send as you can see it is now successful so as you can see that it is now successful but if we send from here into here it's failed as you can see it's failed right from router router one to PC zero. It's failed from router one to PC zero. It's failed. So then the only thing you need to do is to do the same thing to the IP route thing. And so enable enter enable config t IP route. So get the network address so the network address is 192.168.0.0 so get that 192.168.0.0 and then the subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and then the passageway or the gateway which is only this is the only way that th this router can send go in this network address so we will using we will use this serial port 0 slash 1 slash 0 so se0 slash 1 slash 0 and enter and do wr and bam it's now connected so 
Test that out. Oh, wait. Just del delete that. So, let me test that out. So, as you can see, it's successful. We have the success. It's connecting now, but if we try, so if we try to the computer, to the PC0 into the PC1, it's now successful. They are both successful. So, what if we will try to add computer? Now, that's very, very easy, guys, because we already configured the router. So, we just put PC2 and select the Cooper, Cooper straight through and on the fast Ethernet port, fast Ethernet and desktop IP configuration and make the IP so it's 0 0.2 and this must be 0 0.3 so we must label it first so this PC is 192.168.0.3 and then configure that with IP configuration so as we label it put um, so we label this as an IP address so it is an IP address we labeled it so just put that in here 192.168.0.3 and then tab and the default gateway is the I mean the IP address of this one in this fast ethernet IP address that is that must be the default gateway so just type that because it's because it's the only way is a passage into this network right here so that is a default gateway and uh, 192.1 oh 192.168.0.1 you can see guys As you can see it's the same and it try to send packets bam it's successful so i think that's it for this tutorial and it is the very last video for the how to make a network topology and it is yeah, what do you call this one it is a wide angle area so it's i mean no wide area network so it is a WAN or a wide area network it's a wide area network and if um, you know if you wanna so it's a LAN so these two idiots right here are the LAN or the local area network so these two are LANs and they are both joined together with this connection right here and it is the serial DCE port or the cable so that's it for this video guys and if you found this video helpful you can just subscribe to my channel and to if you don't want to miss some of the useful tutorial for information technology and for if you want to be a computer savvy so um, if you like this video don't forget to give give us a thumbs up and um, thanks for watching and see you on my next video